All right, this is going to be a quick one. This is still running uh, Dragon OS Focal, uh, the beta build that's out there on my Persistent Live USB stick. Uh, but someone was super awesome and sent a uh, Blade RF uh, XA4 device so that I could uh, check to make sure everything was in place for Blade, uh, Blade RF function. And uh, basically, everything is there as far as I can see. The Soapy sees the Blade RF. Let's see. Come up, found device number two there. I have the PPA in place. It looks like uh, I got the firmware version and the FPGA loaded. And we'll just go right down the list here. Should be able to pull up. I already pulled up GQRX. Uh, you'll see two entries for the device, uh, one being SOAPY. I don't have that one selected, but uh, I've, uh, at least with this i7 here, it's still an older laptop, I've got, um, let's see, you can see the sample rate. Uh, yeah, I'll just stick with that for a second. This just has four of the telescopic um, RTL style, uh, RTL SDR style antennas. Now I know it looks like it's lagging here, uh, but again, it's the VNC server over the network. Um, I'll figure out a better way to record, especially when doing uh, a lot of, I'm sure it's just streaming a bunch of stuff over, but on a laptop, it is smooth as can be. And it's pretty awesome how much uh, I can see here at one time compared to what I've been used to. So it's pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, I found everything seems to work okay in GQRX. Uh, hit up uh, SDR Angel. And because Soapy's on there, you should find that it works with, uh, I don't know, even like the RTL 433 and some of the other uh, command line tools that are part of Dragon OS. I'm just going to hit up the graphical user interface options here you can adjust your bandwidth uh, I've already got the blade RF selected here I've got an FM demodulator up over here And I'm just showing some basic stuff here, um, FM. We got, uh, what else? Either a cubic SDR should be fine. All right, again, it is like, I know I keep saying that, but I'm looking over here at the screen recording. It looks like it's going in slow motion, but it is fast as could be over here on the actual 
a laptop that's running it. Uh, the, I know that the other Cubic SDR works. I sh probably just have to start from the command line and see what was uh, the hang up there. I know I've been messing with quite a few things. Um, Universal Radio Hacker, I tried. That worked fine. Uh, Sig Digger worked fine. one under here just made sure the sample rate and bandwidth estimation was all good device Okay. Let's see if there's anything else that stands out. Um, no one thing, so I, I actually have two of them. And once I get another laptop with uh, USB 3.0, I want to do uh, hopefully something on SRS LTE. I tried a portion of it. Uh, it uh, seemed to work uh, good. I uh, Let's see, for example... think and of course I need a phone too that uh, I can look for networks uh, and I'll highlight it in another video I had to make sure that uh, it was using the Blade RF because it defaults to like UHD and Edda stuff. So, yeah. So, you can see SRS LTE starts up. I don't have anything to check what's going on right yet. And then I want to be able to set up the second part on another laptop and be able to ping across the radios like the example shows and then also check to see if uh, you know a phone can connect to it so okay all right I think uh, I think you get the, the gist of things here uh, looks like the blade RF everything is in place and uh, works really well um, really good piece of equipment all right thanks